Hey there. In this video, I'll show you how to move text in Final Cut Pro. It's easy. I'll show you six different ways, and at the end, I'll share how to make your very own custom animated text. I'm gonna share with you secret animated text presets, and then we'll work with presets, and then I'll show you three different ways to move and animate text. The fastest, easiest way to make animated text in Final Cut Pro is to just use the built-in templates and titles that it comes with. They're really easy to use and they look great too. Let's take a look at a few of them. The first category is 3D and 3D cinematics. These are actually 3D texts with animations on them. So here's one that fades in and fades out. And then this next one, Rotate, it shows off the 3D a lot better. And then it has some cool cinematic titles that look really good, like uh, like this one called Atmosphere. We've got the Earth rotating, and then the text moves in, like, uh, like in a movie, right? Like we're in the Avengers movie. The next section with a lot of animated text templates is Build In and Out. Just go here to Build In and Out under Titles. You have lots of options in here. You've got these different kind of energetic or dramatic, and uh, we'll just grab a few. A few examples, but you can see here they that one slides in. It's got this cool shadow here. Easy fade in of the letters. These move in. But as you can see, all these are already animated for you. You just have to plop them in and change. Just select the title and then select the text in the template here and quickly update it. CPX text, right? And in just a matter of seconds, I've got some animated text. Okay, next section is called Bumper Opener. If you go to Bumper Opener, these are like opening titles that you would use at the beginning of a video, and they're themed. So if you look down through here, we have like Bulletin Board. And then this one's really cool. There's a few compositions like this one that kind of go, that add a little bit more than just some moving text, and they have some motion graphics in it as well. And the next section is called Credits down here. And these are themed as well. Remember our bulletin board? So this is like uh, credits that you might have at the end of a video. And I think if you put this one over it, what it does is, yep, it shows that video underneath it. So we'll be playing this along and then it swoops out to show the animated text. Pretty sweet, right? The next section of built-in titles or animated text from Final Cut Pro is in the element section right here. We've got speech bubbles, we've got this stamp here, we've also got this instant replay, and then um, we've got this card here. And these two are pretty cool, these are for sports. So those are really cool and handy. And then the last section is called social, that's down here. These are kind of new to Final Cut Pro, they're in the newer versions of it. And these are just some tools you can use in, um, in your social media videos, or really any video. They've got some bumpers, which are like um, quick little titles. They've got some lower thirds that you can use. So any of these presets I just showed you, you can customize and you can tweak and you can make it your own. I'll show you how to do that real quick. So let's use this one that I just changed. We've got my name in there. I wanna change the text though. I want it to look, uh, I want it to have a different look to it. Oh, this Dr. Glitch looks cool. So we'll put that in there. And I wanna space out my name a little bit. You can also move this text around like so, I want that over a little bit. And of course we can change the color as well. I think I'm gonna leave it at the white though. And then if we want to customize, if we come over here, press on the title inspector, we can customize things. We can turn the animation on and off. So this means that it's just automatically on instead of animating on and off. We can change the text. We can also um, change where we have uh, where we have the text. We can go bigger. We can change title size. We can also change the gradient colors. I like them, so I'm going to leave them as is. And then we can add we can add an image or something if we want in the drop zone here. So with drop zones, you can add anything you want: a picture, an image, videos, a logo, a compound clip, even. And it's really easy, you just click on this button right here, on that spot right there, find your find your video or whatever you want to put in there and then put your playhead wherever you want it to start and then press apply clip. 
and that's in there. It looks a little funky, but we've got this position offset we can use. So we'll go like that. It looks good. We can also change the size of it if we want, but I'll leave it as is. So as you can see, it is really easy to make animated text in Final Cut Pro with just the built-in titles that it comes with. Pause game. I just noticed you haven't subscribed yet. Go ahead and click that beautiful red subscribe button. Thanks. That was great. Now I'm gonna show you how to make a custom animated text preset that you can use over and over again in any of your projects. Check out what we're going to make. Pretty sweet, right? I made that right in Final Cut without any extra plugins or additional software. So to do that, go to the build in out category and then drag and drop the custom template onto your timeline. This is a really powerful template that you can customize a million different ways. It's awesome. First thing I want to do is change the text. I'll select it here and then I'm going to just change the words here, hang 10. I also want to change the font I like this high tide look, and I'm gonna make it bigger. About like that, and I wanna change the color. There we go. All right, so we've got it how we want it to look, right? But it doesn't animate, it doesn't do anything, it just shows up on screen. To change that and to add some animation and life to it, click on the title inspector up here. You'll see all these different parameters here that you can choose. There's an infinite amount of ways you can configure this, so play around with it and have fun. I'll show you how I made this example here. First, I put the opacity and the scale down to zero. Then I opened up the rotation here and I put the Z rotation to negative 270 degrees. I left the in sequencing on from. This means, do you want these values to go to that value or come from that value? In this case, I want them to start, I want the opacity to start at zero and the scale I want them both to start at zero and go up to 100%. I want the negative Z rotation to go from negative 270 to zero. The unit size is important too. I have it set to character. That means it's going to apply these changes to each character in the text. You can change it to a word at a time or a line or all of them if you want. And for the spread, I'm gonna put that at about 25. And I also wanna change the speed. I want it to kind of ease in and out. I don't want it to just happen linearly. I want it to happen naturally. Next, I want the duration to last a little bit longer. I'm going to change it to 60. All right, now let's work on the out animation. You'll notice here the out sequence is set to two. So it's going to go to whatever value I set it at. In order to do the out animation, I want it to go from 100% opacity down to zero. I also want it to shrink to nothing. And I want it to fall off of the screen. So I'm gonna put the position to negative 75. I'm going to leave uh, the sequencing and the unit size to character. And the spread, I'm gonna put at about 35. And I'm going to leave the speed the same, ease both. I'm gonna finish the out animation by increasing the animation duration as well. Let's take a look at what we have now. That looks pretty good. And then they fall away. All right, now that we have that preset made, let's say we want to use it in another project. Well, one quick thing we can do is select it and press Alt-G on the keyboard, name it, and then select the event you want it saved in and press OK. Now I can go here to my, um, my event, my library, open a new project, and then I can go down here to this section that says no data, and I can find my compound clip called Surfer Preset, and I can just drop that in. And there you go. I have an animated text title that I made that I can use anywhere. Now I want to show you how to animate text using keyframes. You can animate with keyframes on any title or text. It's really easy. I'm using this custom title template again, and I've got it in my timeline. And you can see it doesn't animate. It doesn't do anything right now. So what I'm going to do is use the keyframes of position and scale and opacity to animate this on. So the first thing I'll do is opacity. Go to the very beginning of the title and press the keyframe button right here and bring opacity down to zero. Then let's go forward a few frames. I'm going to push shift and right arrow twice. 
that gives us, that moves in 20 frames. That moves 10 frames at a time. And I'm going to put opacity to 100. Let's see what that looks like. All right, a nice simple fade in, looks good. Let's add a little more life to it though. Go back to the beginning, and this time put a keyframe for position and scale. Then let's put the position down. I wanna start it down. Let's go down 75 frames, and then scale, I want to go down to 25%. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, we can't see yet, we need to go forward. So one cool thing you can do is, you see these arrows? on opacity, if I click that, it's going to take me to my second keyframe. Now I can come in here and change values. And since I've already set a keyframe, anytime I make a change to a value, Final Cut Pro automatically adds a keyframe. Do the same for scale. I wanna make this a little bit smaller though. We'll go down to 10 and I want this lower, negative 150. Boom, there you go. Now here's another trick. Select your title and press Control V and that pulls up these animated elements. We can see we have keyframes, see these little dots? Those are keyframes for the different things we've changed, like the opacity right here, and uh, in this case, our position and our scale. Right now it's showing it for all of them, but if you wanted to just change the position, you could select that and you can drag it out. And now you'll notice that the position animation happens more longer over time. See how it keeps moving up? In fact, we'll drag it even more. So it's moving up little by little. So if you need to change the timing of the keyframes, you can do that in here really easily. Next, I'll show you how to move and animate text using built-in Final Cut Pro effects. To animate using effects, go to the effects browser that's over here. Click on the effects button and it will pop up all these different effects. There's a ton that come built in with Final Cut and you can play around with them and come up with some really cool animations. I'm gonna show you this example with the water pane effect under distortion category. Here it is. So drag and drop your effect onto your title and you can instantly see we've got this cool water wet effect on the title and it's moving and animating. I wanna tweak it a little bit. First, I wanna change this color so I'll click on the color well, and then I'll click on this color picker because I want it to be the same color as this text and darker. So I'm gonna bring it down to right about there. Then I can use these on-screen controls to change the look of it a little bit. I want it to look kind of like it's falling off on the edges. So I'm gonna pull this in quite a bit. You can see it gets a little blurry and darker at the edges. And then I'm gonna also bring this one, whoops. I'm gonna bring this one, there we go, in. See how the, See how the letters kind of fade off on the side there? I think that looks really good and it fits well with the um, surfer theme. But the only problem is, is it just pops on screen like that. I think we can do something better. We're going to use keyframes like I taught you before and we're gonna fade it in. So I'll go to the beginning of the title and then I'll put a keyframe there and I'll put the opacity to zero. Then let's move forward about 20 frames and just bring the opacity up to 100%. Let's see what that looks like. Oh yeah, I love that. Just kind of fades in, dripping with wet, with sweat and sea salt, sea water, surfing so hard, hanging tin. Those are the only surf terms I know. Did you know that you can also use transitions to animate text? I'll show you how. Click on the transitions browser over here. There's a lot of different transitions you can use to animate text in Final Cut. I'm just gonna show you a few, but don't let that stop you. Play around with them and see what you can create. Let's go down to wipes section. And let's use diagonal. Drag and drop that transition onto your title and it'll pop it up in this little uh, container. This little container is like a storyline above your primary storyline. And you'll see that it added a transition at the beginning and the end. Let's take a look at it. Well, that happens pretty quickly. Here's the beauty of using a transition to animate your text. You can select the transition and then you can quickly change the duration of your animation. So I just made it longer. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, that's looking cool. We can kind of, we can see the diagonal cutting in like that. I want it a little bit longer, I think. Let's take a look now. That looks good, I think. And then we want the out animation to be a little longer too, but not as long as the not as long as the in animation. 
there it goes. That's pretty slick looking. I mean, that took seconds and I had animated text. Let's try some other transitions. Let me undo all that. Let's go up to this section right here. Let's go up to movements and drag and drop ripple on here. This one fits really well because we're, we've got water and this looks like water animating on the text. So you'll see that the text fades in and then we get this cool animated uh, ripple effect that happens to the clip underneath it. I think it looks pretty cool. It works really well with this specific type of clip or this type, this type of footage. And then the out animation is kind of interesting. It happens more just on the text itself. Of course, there are different things we can change in here. I'm gonna leave it as is. So that's one thing you need to be careful with is, see how this transition affects the video clip below it? Some of them do that. And so some transitions don't aren't suited well to animate text. Just keep that in mind. But you can see within just seconds, I have animated text using drag and drop transitions. Congrats, you're now a Final Cut Pro text black belt. And I have a trophy for you. It's a free pack of Final Cut Pro tools. These will make you feel professional and are a piece of cake to use. It's worth $138, but you can get them for free. Just click the link below to get your free gift, Daniel Sun.